Welcome to another module in .NET Clean Money Series. I am Daryl Ladapo. In this module, we're talking about interfaces. Interfaces in C Sharp let you create an abstraction of classes by defining uh, standards which uh, methods or classes that inherit from them must adhere to. And that is how I'll define a, an interface. So, for example, you have uh, things animals could do. So, for example, every time you declare uh, an instance of an animal, you want to ensure that uh, the animal uh, creates some methods, the implementation, the instance of it creates some implementation, for example, breed, make some, give birth. Same thing for vehicles, when you initialize the new instance of a vehicle, you want to ensure that any new vehicle uh, has a brake, can accelerate, can decelerate, can start, can stop, can do all sort of stuff. That is how interfaces work, basically. So, what happens is you declare the interface and then you inherit from such an interface. When you do that inheritance from the interface, you then have to implement the methods of the interface. And let me show you that in an example. So over here, I have an iAnimal interface. This is how you declare an interface, basically. Uh, let me zoom into that so you can see better. You declare it using the iAnimal keyword. So you declare the i in front of it, standard practice, and then you declare the name of the interface right here. Then you, it's denoted by the keyword uh, interface. And then you declare the method that you want to uh, enforce the standard of. Uh, the return type, the name of the method, if it has parameters, you pass them in inside here. Okay, you can make them public or private, uh, but most times actually you should make them uh, private, but public rather. Okay, so after you've declared the interface, the next thing is to declare the class that you want to inherit uh, the interface from. So over here, I have a pick.cs file. And over here, you see I inherited from iAnimal. But I have some methods I commented out here. I actually wanted to show us uh, the problem we would see if we were to try to run this program without implementing such an interface, but we've we'll inherited from it. So if I try to run this, I'll get an error or two errors because I have two interface methods I needed to implement. It tells me that pig does not implement the interface member I animal the breathe. You see here, I commented that, but if I was to go ahead and implement breathe, I'll just comment this out. See that it matches, so it is not a void, it's public, and the name is breathe. If I was to run this, you see my errors will reduce to one. Because I've implemented the interface method breathe, so the remaining problem will be interface method make sound. So we'll see the error pop up just now. So let me comment this also out. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, okay. And then my program should run normally. Then if I now want to start using my program, uh, my class rather, I'll go ahead and just start using it. So I have an implementation here called pick my pick. So I'll just call my pick dot make sound. I can call my pick dot breathe uh, as I want. So let me just uh, copy and paste that. Let me call make sound over here also. All right. So if I go ahead and run this now, I should be able to see that the program will run successfully without bugs and then it will implement it will carry out the task that are specified inside this brief method so what interfaces let you do basically is write your own implementation or starting methods that are standard uh it's just like i explained earlier if you have uh, vehicles or, or automobiles there's a standard of engine for uh, a four piston engine a six piston engine all and all like that so what happens is no matter the input you put in there no matter the implementation you have for it you must always have that method. it's, it's like an, a standard for defining class methods or things that uh, you want to use in your program and i hope it's been able to give you some clarity about how interfaces work if you have some more questions of course i'll be glad to answer them post them in the comment below I will get to them. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next model. Bye.